Good morning, peeps. How are you today? I've been better. I've been better, I'll be honest, and I'll tell you why. It's wash day. And I don't mean washing clothes, I mean washing the motorhome. Now, we've had this motorhome for 10 months and only washed it twice. I know it's disgusting, isn't it? We've never washed the roof, never even seen the roof. Um, and I've always felt a bit guilty that I've not looked after it properly from the outside. But, I don't know, we only seem to be able to wash it in one place and that's Mazzy's sister's. Because we're at Mazzy's at the moment because she's got a hospital appointment tomorrow. She's just gone to her dad's. I've been left to do the work. Um, but it's very good here, we can park in the drive and there's water source just next to, next to the van. So I can wash it again today. We've washed it twice since we got it, both times was here. Um, this is the third time. So, because they're out and it's a nice day, I thought I'd do it properly today, including the roof. So I've managed to find some ladders in the back garden. Let's go have a look up, upstairs on top of the roof. Uh, I'm dreading this because I haven't seen it since we bought it. I've never seen it. Never seen the roof. Does it even have a Yeah, it's got a roof. But uh, yeah, let's go have a look at it from up there on the ladders. Yeah, not the stablest of ladders. <laughs> I've got them on gravel, which wasn't a good idea. Anyway, I'm sure I can manage. I've fallen off cliffs before. I'm sure I can handle falling off a step ladder. Ooh, okay. It's not too bad, is it? You can see here it's pretty bad. But overall, after a year, I would say that's pretty good. And something else I've noticed as well. This is where they've put the solar panel. I never knew where they'd put it. But there's room for two more. If we, There's room for four more. Could have one over there. One in the middle. One over there. One down. We could probably get four more on if we really, really needed them. So that's good news. Anyway, I'm going to have to move the van out a bit. So that I can start at the other side. And let's get scrubbing. So where needed, we have got this big brush, which was fantastic last time. But I'm trying to do it by hand today. The bits I can reach, I'm going to do by hand. So, got a bucket. And we've bought, for the first time, can you believe this? This is the first time since we got this motor home. This is the first time we've actually bought any kind of shampoo for it. So, two capfuls of this into a bucket of water. And I've bought a new sponge as well, so... I'm going to be concentrating on using this, I think, as much as I can. Does anybody actually just use two capfuls, or is it just me? You always have to put a bit extra in. Probably three capfuls. Get the water on. Mix that up, and I'll be putting it on by a sponge, and I'll be using the other hose mainly just to wet it, wet the surface and to rinse it off. Look at that. And I didn't know this, I said to Mazzy we should really get some wax for it. This is a wash and wax. So this is perfect. I think the main worry is I'm going to do the roof and then Mazzy's going to come back. Cause she'll only be a few hours. She's going to come back and say, I thought you were going to wash van. You haven't done anything. But it'll all be in roof. She won't notice, you see, because it's high up. So I'm not going to do a good job on the roof because I need to spend more time on the sides and back and front otherwise I'll get done. I'm starting to realise just how dangerous this job is without your lady holding the ladders for you. I'm at a right angle here. Let's just wet the roof and then I'm going to shampoo as far as I can into the middle and then I might have to get the big one out, I don't know. Looking better already. I am definitely going to need the long brush. <laughs> These ladders are too dangerous. I don't know how much of this I can do, to be honest. I'm going to have to put the phone away and just get this roof done. 
in a safer manner, I think. So my first question for you guys today is, is there anyone out there who actually takes it to a car wash? Because in Britain we have uh, a lot of, like, I don't mean to sound racist or anything, but it's usually Polish people who have the car washes and do your car by hand. Um, but a lot of the places this won't fit under, but some of them it will. And I've often thought, shall we stop there and see if they'll do us van? Is it, does anyone else do that? And if so, how much? How much do they charge? Uh, question number two, how do you get rid of these scratches from the branches which have hit the tree? Because we've got them on both sides pretty bad in that corner. Um, but I'm sure they must come out. Would I need tea cut on that or something? Let us know in the comments, please. So you can see the bits I've done here. Perfect, beautiful. There's quite a few black spots. I can't do anything about them, really. Um, you know, like tar spots. It's too dangerous to be trying to deal with them at the moment. I don't know if you can see the line here. There's the line of dirt. That's as far as I can get, and I'll do the same at the other side. So there's going to be a strip in the middle where I don't know if I'm going to power wash it yet, because I have got a power washer. I'm either going to power wash it or just use the long brush to get the middle bit, but yeah, it's coming up quite well. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this, and it isn't taking as long as I thought. I'll be honest, this is the main reason I wanted to do the roof for the solar panel. Because obviously if that gets mucky, you're getting less power. But it looks quite clean. You know, I expected a lot of green on top of this roof and there's none of that. This is the worst patch, really. It's not too bad. But yeah, as I say, twice in, a, in 10 months we've washed this van. Um, Obviously, if you if you have a home and you, you just travel part-time, you've got a driveway and you can do it in your driveway, but we haven't got that luxury, which is why, you know, it's not that we're lazy, it's just we've nowhere to wash the van, really. So I've done all the top of the van, it's looking very nice, apart from the middle. So I'm going to try and do it with this. But one thing I want to say, birds, right, this is proof that birds have a problem with humans. Not a single bird poop on the roof. Loads on the windows. Why? Has anyone else ever noticed that? You only get bird poop where it's annoying. They can poop all the like on roof, but they haven't done. Not one single poop, about seven on the windows. Roof's done. Quick rest. Long rest. I hope I don't fall asleep, to be honest, because I can't see me finishing this. Just to show you how dirty this thing is, I think it's three or four months since we did it last. Can you see the line there? It's quite grubby, quite grubby. Have you noticed, whenever you are a YouTuber or you're trying to film, uh, there's always a lawnmower starts in the background, isn't there? <laughs> There you go, that's a good view of it. Dirty, but starting to look beautiful. One thing I am leaving at the moment is the bottom. Just this bottom really bit. The bottom trim and the wheels and the front cab. Because I'm going to pressure washer that. Because I want to get all the black stuff out of the tyres. Um, out of the rims. So I'm going to pressure washer that and then the black cab itself I want to really do thoroughly. Now, Maz's sister's husband, or boyfriend, I don't know if they're even married. I think, that, I think it's a boyfriend. He used to wash cars, in, you know, in one of these car washes. And it, it taught me that with black you have to, how can I put it, get a cloth and get it completely dry. Otherwise you will have drip marks on it, on the black. So I'll be doing that as well. A little tip for you. If anyone else has any tips, by the way, of how to wash a motorhome better than I'm doing it, or what products, or what uh, hoses and attachments and stuff, please let us know in the comments. I'd like to know, because it is a chore. It's, it's hard work. I've been dreading this. I couldn't sleep last night thinking about it. I even put on Twitter at four o'clock this morning, can't sleep because I'm washing the van in the morning and I'm 
I'm dreading it. But yeah, we're getting there. We've done nearly a half. A little update for you. All this is done. Look how sparkling and beautiful the back of that looks. That is beautiful. That's well done. Now, I haven't done here. I haven't done any of the front. And you'll see it better from the other side, I think, how mucky it is. Like, look at the mirrors. Look at that. I, I know I can get that off with uh, petrol and diesel. Maybe I can find something else, I don't know. This is the worst part. This little blip, as you're driving along, it always, all the flies catch on there. And I haven't touched this side yet, but we're getting there. Right, I'm done. I'm done. That is it. I've had enough. I stopped filming, started throwing it down. What I would suggest is check the weather before you wash your van, yeah? Um, not that it makes an ounce of difference because if it's raining anyway, if you're washing a van you get wet anyway. I'm wet through, nobody cares. Girls are upstairs having a natter. They've come back. I've washed the van as well as I can and I'm not doing any more. If you've got any tips on how to wash a van without actually having to wash a van, please leave it in the comments. I want to know. So I'm not doing that again. I'm never ever washing that van again. Guarantee I'm not washing that damn van again. Oh,